The Knolls have wrapped up their three practices in Bradenton. Knoll Insiders Lane Hurt and Tim Linnefell here with you. Tim, a little bit of adversity with the weather yeah. for, for this trip. They've had to stop and start a couple of practices because of the weather. I think the important thing, maybe the biggest takeaway, is, is how the guys handled that, their attitude towards it. They really had a positive attitude about that and, and, and coming out and practicing well. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. You know, a lot of the, the benefit that I think you got out of coming down here is stuff that you, know, you can't plan for. You can't plan for there to be, you know, thunderstorms every day or, or you know, knowing that your, your schedule is going to be altered a little bit. But there's value in that, too, you know, like being able to adjust on the fly, being able to, you know, handle yourself and, and keep keep working or, or keep you in the right frame of mind when things don't go completely according to plan or according to schedule stay locked in you know because those things happen you know uh, the ball gets wet sometimes we saw some of that sometimes you know anybody who goes to Florida State athletics events knows sometimes there's weather delays you got to be able to deal with that how do you how do you handle yourself how do you again stay mentally engaged that sort of thing so you get some work at that and that's a pretty good thing and then you know the other upshot of it you know especially uh, on Tuesday you, you get to spend some time with uh, some Hall of Famers and Tony Dungy and Derek Brooks and those guys were just here to hang out and watch practice and, and kind of you know, catch up with some old friends turns out you spend two hours in the locker room uh, you get a, a personal chat with uh, you know one of the most successful coaches of all time and one of the best linebackers of all time. So that's kind of a cool little benefit too. Obviously, that was the highlight uh, of this trip is having two Hall of Famers talk to you. You talked to both Coach Dundee yeah. and Derek Brooks. What were your takeaway from, from their messages? Yeah, those guys are just really, really impressive, obviously. I mean, two of the most successful people ever in, in their fields. Yeah. Uh, what I like is how much they like this team uh, and this program. You know, I talked to, to Coach Dungey about his experience with Willie Taggart. He said he was on the interview committee at University of South Florida that hired Coach Taggart. They've been in touch ever since. Tony Dungy's son, Eric, actually played a year for Coach Taggart at USF, so they go back a long way. And then Derek Brooks, obviously, he's been around the program. I mean, he's been around for you know a long, long time, but it seemed even more now, especially uh, since Coach Taggart arrived and his son, DeKalen, arrived as a member of the team. And so, you know, I asked him, you were here last year. He came out to IMG Academy last year when Florida State was here. And I said, you know, what do you see that's different? What do you like? And he said, you know, the biggest thing, and I've heard Coach Taggart say this as well, uh, is you're starting to see the players hold themselves accountable when somebody doesn't do what they're supposed to or somebody misses a rep or whatever the coaches aren't having to say things it's the players taking it on themselves to hold each other accountable and say hey you know get it together whip yourself into shape uh, and that's you know from a guy who's been on championship teams you know he says that's how you know you're moving in the right direction well we're facing some adversity right now with a little rainstorm we're going to try to power through uh, quickly we got a scrimmage coming up yes. on Saturday situational according to coach Taggart what's going to be important what do you want to see on Saturday from this team well the, the most obvious is is knowing situations you know third and short first and, you know whatever the case may be knowing down and distance knowing where the the markers are that sort of thing uh, and being able to do the right thing in those types of situations knowing you know what's on the clock play clock all that sort of thing well we're going to wrap things up now it's raining we'll see we you back in cold. tally for Tim I'm Lane Gonals.